everyone, welcome to Arts and Health, the Mother's Day edition. And we have something in store for you today. We're celebrating mothers, we're celebrating the women in our lives. Why? Because women have had a tough year. You've been mothers, you've been caretakers, you've been the doctors in your own home, and more importantly, you're now the new educators, and you're doing homework with your children while doing Zoom calls at work. We can go on and on, but we want to let you know and we see you and we hear you. For all of the women in our lives, the mothers in our lives, we do say we salute you and happy Mother's Day for our Arts and Health, the Mother's Day edition. And thanks to our community sponsors, we have, of course, CHR Memorial, we have the Hunter Museum of American Art, plus Arts Build and Rise Chattanooga. So you're in a special treat for today. And coming up first, I ask that you join me for our reflection for this program. As we reflect on the powerful role that women have played in our lives, it is good to stop and give thanks. Thank you for the love and support, the guidance and discipline, the late nights and early mornings. Thank you for going without so that we could have, for urging us forward and comforting us from behind. We are deeply indebted to the mamas and the grannies, the teachers, the coaches, the mentors, and the role models. The world indeed needs our mothers. So perhaps the question for us today is simply this, whom in the world do we need to mother. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to hear from several of our community art partners as we're celebrating Arts and Health, the Mother's Day edition. So let's get started with our first community partner from Arts Build, the president, James McKissick. You know, at Arts Build, our mission is building community through the arts. And I chose to be um, filmed in front of this piece of art by Ashley Blaylock because it reminds me of the community of women in my, in my neighborhood and in my family who worked so hard to raise me and instill great values in me as a young person. Um, and I'm thinking of people like my mother, my great aunties, my aunts, women at my church, uh, who were just amazing role models and who encouraged me from day one. I love celebrating the arts and I especially want to celebrate the women in Chattanooga who do so much in the art sector, from artists to musicians to writers to women who run arts organizations and arts institutions of all sizes, especially during this past year, they have inspired me so much to be a better leader at Arts Build and to think of all of the ways and implement new ways that we can serve the community. So I'm excited and appreciative to CHI Memorial for this opportunity to, to be part of this video and this production celebrating mothers and women in our city. And I cannot end without telling my own mother, Happy Mother's Day. Wow, James, thank you so much. And I love that exhibit. And by the way, you'll see all of us standing before exhibits that were created by females, including myself. This is simply gorgeous art here at the Hunter Museum of American Art. So let's get started. I'm excited to be able to introduce our first performer for this program, Arts and Health, the Mother's Day edition. She's a mother, she's a caretaker herself, and also she has her own production company, it's Velvet Poetry Productions. She's a poet, a creative strategist. I'm talking about Erica Roberts and her poem entitled, The Nurturers. Creativity is birthing. Birthing has labor pains. Pain is in the process, processing the responsibility. Responsible for being a healer. Healing nurtures, nurturing the gift, the gift of life, living through art. Art brings forth visions, visions of future from the lens of the pause. Artists don't always create, yet they still build. And women don't always birth the human, yet still feel the pains of giving way to something. Nurturers and healers share the same emotional DNA as artists and mothers. They commune with the struggle, 
kindred to their unique lineage, connected by the wanting of more, rooted in healing, a helping hand and artist's gift, existing all inside one sacred vessel, taking in the waves of the world, being strengthened by the stillness that's found in a mental motherly movement, shouldering the shared peace, an embodiment of struggling existent, being persistent. The village steps in and steps up, extending the branches of support, building up during a difficult time, lifting the unbearable weight of parenting, knowing that the loving bond is unbreakable, hard at times, yes, but absolutely unstoppable. We honor you. Those without kids, we speak into you. Those feeling the growing pains, we believe in you and today. Be gentle with yourself, love on yourself. If no gifts are given and no roses are sent, be well in the knowing that your love lives on for this day and for the ever of more. Wow, that was simply a beautiful poem from Erica. Thank you so much for blessing the women in our lives with your words and of course our mothers as we continue with our Arts and Health, the Mother's Day edition program. Thanks again to our partners, CHI Memorial, the Hunter Museum of American Art, plus Artsville and Rise Chattanooga. Up next, I cannot wait to hear from our mother of four, you know her from the arts industry here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. She's also my colleague at CHI Memorial. Who am I speaking of? Shayella Rowe. She's our art therapies and well-being program coordinator. Shayella, please take it away. Thank you, Nicole. I'm here at the Hunter Museum today in front of this piece by Edith Bry. Uh, it's titled Equations, and it really speaks to um, the experience of all of the things that we balance in our lives and in, in the world. And I think that as a mother, I also connect to this piece because I have received many a collage in my day as gifts from my children. And, um, and there's just something about those torn edges that for me speaks to the experience of, of the sort of roughness and messiness of life that comes together and is held together. Um, and today, really, we want to take a moment to recognize and honor those who have a connection to the work of mothering. We've gathered with a few artists in our community to help us open our senses to empathetic connections. Art and music and poetry can express tones and shades of our heart's experiences, help us understand struggles and joys. Art has the power to heal. For mothers of all ages, for those grieving loss, for those struggling with the weights of the role, maybe on your own. For non-traditional mothers and mothers with an empty womb. For moms caring for new life and end of life at the same time. And for all the moms doing chores today, on your day, we're here to celebrate you, to acknowledge your day and daily working of caregiving. So on social media, in Zooms, and from balconies and open spaces, we've seen artists be the image bearers of our experiences, reflecting the extra work and emotional burdens that we have carried over the last year and a half. Earlier this year, the Arts and Medicine Council at CHI Memorial Hospital, along with arts partners and supporters around the community, came together to create a video to tell parts of the story. And we wanted to share that with you today. So thank you, mothers of all sorts. This is for you. In 2020 has shown us where art lives. The first thing that I saw was people asking for words of encouragement. Inspire, move us. We're stuck at home. Help somebody, say something. Be creative, help us be creative, we're stuck. I can't wait to see what art has been created during this time. 
2020 has been a tough year for everyone and I think we're all experiencing some kind of trauma and of course that's on a spectrum um, from people who've lost loved ones to those struggling with isolation and yet we've seen people dancing in their living rooms, posting free classes online and I think that is both a reflection of their own need to dance, to stay healthy and to connect to each other, even if it's in a cyberspace, and also a recognition that seeing art, even if you're not participating in it, but you're watching it, is also healing. If we agree that art is healing, then those that are artists must be healers in some way. As an artist, when you know how powerful your art is, you then own that responsibility to do right by it. You can't pass it. You have to honestly commit to it and, and keep it real. Healing is a process, whether it's physical or emotional. So I think of art as something that is a salve that, that soothes a process while we're waiting on the complete healing. and. Who are we kidding? I think we're always going to be healing from something. So to me, art should be a constant part of our lives because we aren't just hurt once. There are impending things that are going to happen in our lives. So art as a constant therapeutic tool, I think is vital to human existence. The pandemic, we're like being stressed and thinking on, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow? What are we going to do? Am I going to have a job next week? You know, all these issues are happening that is causing stress, but through art, or just seeing art, it's just like a little window that you can open and, and see life from a different perspective. When you have expression and you can express through the arts, I think that that really makes a difference in the well-being of the person. Thanks, Shayella, and I must admit, I'm not trying to do a competition, but I really like your piece of art as well. I got some stiff competition as well behind me. Thank you so much for joining us for our Arts and Health, the Mother's Day edition here. And we're recording at the Hunter Museum of American Art. Now it's time to welcome our next community partner. I've been knowing her for several years. I won't tell you how long because it ages me. But however, she is a good friend of mine and I'm speaking of the one and only, the Executive Director of the Hunter Museum of American Art to talk about her partnership here in this program, Virginia Ann Sharber. Greetings from the Hunter Museum of American Art. I'm Virginia Ann Sharber, the Executive Director. Welcome to the museum and Happy Mother's Day. On Mother's Day, we celebrate mothers, grandmothers, aunts, sisters, friends, partners, and all women who help care for us and nurture us. The Hunter celebrates female artists and, and showcases their work throughout our galleries. Like this piece, Yellow Wave, by Jiha Moon. Jiha Moon is an artist from South Korea who moved to the United States for a graduate degree in art and now lives in Atlanta. She's also a mother, raising an Asian American son in the United States. Her work reflects the dual cultural traditions and assumptions her son is experiencing. In her work, she combines both Eastern and Western elements of popular culture, as you can see here. You see smiley faces and locks of blonde hair as representative of Western beauty standards and inspiration for the title, Yellow Wave. You see dragons and fortune cookies, really American creations, although many associate them with Chinese culture. She depicts elements from both cultures, like the Georgia peach, which also is the lucky peach in Korea. I hope you'll come experience this beautiful work of Jiha Moon's in person. And while you're here, look for the stickers that indicate works of other female creatives here in the museum. On this day when we celebrate the women who love and care for us, we'd love to help you honor the special women in your lives. Come visit us and happy Mother's Day. 
Thank you so much, Virginia, and for your partnership. We're so excited to be here in the Hunter Museum of American Art. Wish I had some of this in my house. But we're sharing this today, our Arts and Health program, the Mother's Day edition, with all of the beautiful women in our lives and the mothers who continue to take care of us. We thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you can feel the love and support that we have for all of the women and the mothers as we celebrate Mother's Day here. It's 2021, look back over your life and look at where you are today. I told you earlier, we hear you, we support you. Now, as we prepare to conclude our program, Arts and Health, the Mother's Day edition, we wanna remind the women in our lives and our mothers a couple of things. Take care of yourself. Get your screenings, get your mammogram, call your OBGYN, take a break, do some painting, enjoy some art, exercise, or simply be still.